Hello and welcome to Chandu.org. Almost everyone who is using Excel would know the sum function. It is one of those cornerstone vital functions of Excel. Now what would we do if we cannot use the sum function but we somehow must get the total of all the values in a range. This is a fun Excel challenge but it will explore and show you some very creative and innovative uses of other formulas that are available in Excel and I hope you'll take the inspiration and ideas and use that elsewhere. So let's get into the workbook. Our first criteria is we cannot use the sum function or even the plus symbol. So we must do whatever we are going to do with other formulas in Excel. Well, here is a bunch of values, 20 values, and the sum that we want to get is 905, as you could see in the status bar here. The obvious way to calculate total is to use some function, but because we cannot use it, let's get into some creative ways of doing this. One way in which you can get the sum of numbers is by doing uh, average times count. This is essentially the reverse of average which is average is defined as sum by count so we can take average times count and we'll get the sum so this is average um, of my range times count of my range and we'll get 905 of course that's the most obvious way of getting there what is it that I hear I cannot use average Oh well, let's go and see some other methods. We can of course use the beautiful and elegant sum product function. It is one of my favorite functions in Excel. So we can use sum product. What sum product does is you can take, for example, you have a range of numbers one, two, three, and then uh, three, four, five. I can use sum product um, to get the sum of multiplications of corresponding values so 1 times 3 plus 2 times 4 plus 3 times 5 and I'll get 26 but if I exclude anything else and just give the original array I'll get the total of the number so sum product is essentially sum when there is nothing to product so we can use sum product of that array there to get 905 so that's the second method oh I can't even use sum product because it has the word sum in it. Well, let's try some other method. We'll go back to the average times count method, but we are not going to use the average. Instead, we will use a cheeky little average called a trim mean. What trim mean does is it will calculate the average excluding the top and bottom x percentage of value. So for example, I can say trim mean of that range and then I say um, 0, 10 percent what that will do is it will give me the average excluding the top 10 percent bottom 10 percent values so we'll get something like that now we have a small range of values so if I put some very small number like 0 0.01 this trim mean is essentially same as the mean so I can take trim mean times count which is same as average times count but we are not technically using the average function uh, and um, and then we will be able to get that so 905 oh, oh you're telling me I can't even use trim mean now well let's go ahead and show some other formulas we can use instead of sum we can use the subtotal function this is a generic function that can calculate all types of summaries so you can calculate averages counts whatnot and the number nine for this will give me the sum of values so subtotal of that well technically sum but we are using subtotal the beauty of subtotal is if you work to for example filter some values for example i'm gonna exclude um 75 here then subtotal will ignore that 75 and give me the answer so it will ignore anything that is filtered away right that's what subtotal you can also use the aggregate function which is kind of subtotal but with a little bit more superpowers so aggregate of again 9 uh, but this time you can kind of do a lot more we will just say 0 and 
and these values and that will also give me 905. So, so far I have shown you five different methods of calculating sum without using the sum function. Now let's go ahead and explore a few other variations. All these methods that we have seen are kind of a little bit of cheating but most of it you can also guess if you have been learning excel and using it excel excel for a while but the next ones are a bit more advanced but they are nevertheless equally fun so what we could do is we could use the matrix multiplication function uh, m mult uh, to calculate sum of numbers so matrix multiplication is it's not complicated but it is kind of wonky and sometimes it doesn't feel all right uh, but essentially what happens in matrix multiplication is you can have a range of numbers like this uh, in order to do a matrix multiplication this will need to be multiplied let's just select uh, a range of four numbers so you will need to multiply this with a range that has four columns so same number of rows as columns then you can multiply and then it will give you a matrix uh, that is four by four but if you multiply from here to there rather than from here to there then it will get you a single matrix that is sing one by one matrix that is just the sum of all the individual products so we can do this m mult of my will just show you what happens if i do it like this and then transpose of that what transpose does is it will turn rows into columns we'll get a big matrix like this this is not what we want we just want 905 so what we will do is we will take this and then put transpose in the beginning and then that in the end this will give me a big number like this if you're wondering what this number is this is nothing but 75 times 75 10 times 10 13 times 13 18 times 18 so on and so forth the sum of those multiplications we don't want to multiply 75 with itself we just want to multiply 75 with one so to do that what we can do is we can just transpose on the other end these numbers should be just ones how do i take a bunch of values and turn them into one there are multiple ways to do this but if i can uh, for example rise all of these to the power of zero so anything to the power of zero is one so we can now basically take the 75 multiply it with one plus 10 times one 13 times one like that and we will get 905 pretty wacky isn't it well that's that uh, there is another sum function that you can use it doesn't really say sum but you can use the imaginary number sum function that is called im sum uh, it can be used to add up imaginary numbers complex numbers to be honest uh, but we don't have complex numbers here we just have simple numbers and you just give it like this and then it will give you 905 the im sum number formula returns the value as text because the output could be a complex number so positive number plus imaginary value so that's why it comes up as text and it gets left aligned um, and that's i am sum now here is another tricky function this is actually not meant to be a sum function but we can use the npv function net present value function some of you who worked in finance would already know that net present value is used to calculate the present value of future monies so for example uh, if I were to ask you a question like um, I'm going to give you $100 for every year from here on until 2030 what would be the equivalent value in today's money well that's where NPV formula comes in handy you can use NPV formula to uh, calculate the worth of something based on future payments now here we can use npv like this we will just say that the rate of interest is zero percent so that means whatever in future is same as whatever is today and then select all of these values it will just be a total of course npv function being a finance function it will turn the values into dollar format you can again um, apply cell formatting to it to turn that into a number so that's npv function there are a couple more functions so far we have come up with eight different methods i just have two more methods and then we will wind up this video the next one is there is actually a function called series sum what this does is it will sum up a series a power series uh, to be honest based on the coefficients that you give now we don't want to use it for its intended purpose instead we just want to sum up so what we will say is x is 1 and then n and m will be 0 and 0 
you can read up the documentation on this function but essentially what this will evaluate to is 1 times 75 plus 1 times 10 plus 1 times 13 so on and so forth and then we will get the total as this the last one that i have for you is a weird use of the harmonic mean function har mean a harmonic mean is defined as if i tell a bunch of numbers and just say har mean of that i'll get uh, some weird number like this but the way harmonic mean is defined is first excel will calculate reciprocals which is 1 divided by 75 1 divided by 10 so on and so forth and then it will add up all such reciprocals and then it will calculate the reciprocal of that that's called harmonic mean now we don't want to calculate the sum of reciprocals and then reciprocate it instead if we can pre-reciprocate it now this gets kind of like inception but <laughs> essentially uh, instead of doing it like this if i just say one divided by that we will get a number like this if you're thinking oh what is that number if i then take that and divide it with one i will get 45.25 which is nothing but the average so we somehow were able to go all the way here and get the average now this times count is nothing but your total so this is how you can calculate sum when you are unable to calculate sum for whatever reason using the sum function or the plus button of course this is meant to be both a fun exercise but also as a challenge to see what can we do in excel when we are, have limited choices so i hope you enjoyed this particular video and if you are feeling particularly adventurous feel free to share your own formulas for summing up a bunch of numbers when you cannot use either the plus button or the sum formula in excel or any of these other formulas that i have shown you so go ahead and come up with your own answers and share them in the comments alternatively feel free to just explore these formulas and learn a little bit more and see what other creative fun uses you can come up with. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you again in another one. Bye-bye.